What is up you guys? Welcome to Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures. I'm really excited to be back on the road. Uh, I'm going from St. Paul, Minnesota to Colorado, um, Pablo, Colorado or something. Uh, just starting these runs off. Um, happy to be back. Uh, had a great time on vacation. In between the vacation, you've probably seen, uh, I was doing some runs here and there in between the holidays, which was really cool to be your own boss and finally just being able to sort of navigate your own life. Me and my wife love it. Anyways, I just gave my ETA going to St. Paul. Um, I ha I've had a lot of love on my channel and I've had some hate and some weirdness on both this and my Facebook page, uh, Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures. Uh, but it's all good. This is all motivation. Um, doing what you want in life, not, not just driving, just whatever you want. Go on and get it. Anyways, let's get driving. Let's go pick this up. Let's go. So here's the deal, I'm all loaded up with what they could fit. Um, what happened was, apparently, what I'm assuming is someone measured just the boxes on the pallet, because the boxes are exactly 50. And with the pallets, it was 53 inches. My cargo band's 50, this is the first time this has happened to me. Um, but now I'm just waiting to see, because, okay, at first I said, you break down the one pallet, and then we can put the pallet in the back of my van. I did that on my first ever run to California. He's like, oh, we don't really like doing that. I'm like, okay, these guys have been nice. They've been cool. Um, then I said, well, what if we just lay all the boxes sideways because they're vertical boxes um, on two pallets, that'll work. And because they were trying to load three pallets with just the top, the top load off or whatever. And so anyways, um, and that didn't work. Or no, no, so I got distracted by my phone. So yeah, they didn't want to try that. But then when I said the lane on the side, he's like, oh, that would work. And then I was like, okay, well, should we do that? And then he's like, well, pallet testing could take a, a half hour. And I was like, I'm cool with that, man, if that works for you guys. And then he was like, no, we want to see if they'll just take, because they need this stuff in Colorado right now. It's going to their same company. But he wants to see if they'll just have me take this. But. I mean, yeah, I said it before they loaded these two, too, because palletizing, like he said, would take like a half hour rewrapping it, you know, putting them sideways. But that's why I was telling everybody when you go to these places, and I've only had a couple times where it gets a little sticky or weird. I've had really weird one, one really weird one in one of my last vlogs where this one old guy was just flipping out the whole time, and it was, I stayed cool, because I always do, it's whatever to me. But... Just always like think logically. Like I've worked on loading trucks as a forklift driver. I've worked on just loading trucks in general um, at several jobs. So it's always just like, just make it work. But then some places are weird about what they will or they won't do. Um, so this place apparently doesn't like depalletizing and putting a pallet on and then I would just restack it or people would help me restack it. But anyways, I'll get back to you guys. I mean, I don't know if it doesn't work out, if this will be a vlog, maybe it will. Maybe it'll just be a, a vlog about, you know, always trying to, you know, work it out and stuff and keep your cool and not like freak out because to me, me and my wife were talking and when I start my runs after these holidays, cause I, I did a little runs during the holidays in between, that's when my week starts for me because you know, that's when it starts. Um, so it's always just it is what it is um but yeah i'll get back to you guys if it doesn't work out this might just be a little vlog that is about what to do if stuff like this happens i guess i mean the putting them sideways would work and he knows it would and he said we could i thought he was gonna do it i thought it's no big deal you know it's just i i will help you repalletize it's no big deal to me but we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys posted Okay, an update. So, we're loaded. Nothing changed, getting paid the same. Oh, I forgot, I didn't even say how much this one was for yet in the vlog. Um, 
This one was for how much was it? Ah, uh, da 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 da. It's eleven fifty. And my wife did the math and stuff, and per day that's like four hundred dollars per day with gas and insurance taken out weekly. And we only have um, liability; we don't have full coverage because we bought this outright for thirteen k. But we are debating on getting full coverage, but that's a whole other story. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so we're loaded up; we're good to go, good to make that money. Uh, now I'm gonna get gas. So yeah, uh, going to Colorado. Uh, it's like Pablo, Colorado or something. But anyways, I'm gonna go get gas and let's get cruising. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One other thing I was gonna tell you guys, this was originally gonna be a direct and I said, I'm down doing the direct. But I also say always like, but if they wanna work with me because it's later in the day, you know, and they wanted to work with it and they said 24 hours, so that's good too. You know, instead of doing direct, you know, like, and two, I have kids and stuff, so for me, I'm cool with it drink some espresso and get there and i've done it you know but it's good to have it like this but let's get this let's keep pumping this gas and let's get on the road i'm about to get gas okay you guys it's 31 miles per hour winds I'm gonna go get this gas though, and then we're gonna keep cruising. What's up, guys? These fell when a uh, vehicle slowed down. Just put them back up. They were fine, in good condition. I let the company know that that happened. That's the thing you always wanna, I mean, this that's the same with all trucking, as you guys know, if you've been following me, I was a, uh, class a driver before and just no matter what happens you just let people know you know you don't hide it never hide it never hide what's happening um i've had some times where i really messed up a load when i was driving my cdl truck and turn left toward north chestnut street then turn left for that onto company north chestnut street. but you just always let people know you know what i mean so I say, hey, hey this happened, left. you know. It's good to have some saran wrap on you, though. Or some wrap. I don't have any on me. That's one of the things I've been wanting to buy. Just always forget to, you know, being busy. But anyways, yeah, let's get on the road. I'm all ready for bed. Got my windshield cover up. Shout out to my mother-in-law, Brenda. She got me this cool hat. I usually was bringing my DeWalt, but now I'm just gonna rock this when I'm chilling. Um, I'm about five and a half hours away from my drop-off. Uh, finally, I had to pull over and relax. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna sleep a little bit. Um, it's like three in the morning. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sleep a little bit and uh, do my delivery. I'll get back at you guys in the morning I know it's gonna be a cozy night every night. It is for me. I had one guy go off about the you freight What do you call me? You freight slave and you yeah, sleeping in your van you you must be uncomfortable and I literally am not ever Setting it up so a little something because I, I can't set it up back there I usually I never have but back there. I got all the pallets and stuff, but Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed, catch you guys in the morning, and I'm right by a gas station, so we'll get coffee in the morning. Good morning, dudes. I'm all ready to roll, I slept good. Got a little bit of coffee, just black coffee. So far, I haven't bought one treat from a gas station. All I've bought is a gallon of water. Because this time I brought my peanut butter sandwiches and I'm gonna get Subway at night, but last night I didn't even get that because I was fine. But as you guys know, I'm all about hustling and cutting savings. Me and my wife have done that for a long time. That's how we saved up so much money to start this business and to buy houses. And 
we don't have any like rental properties i'm saying just like as we purchased a couple houses of our own sold some and anyways uh that's a little off topic but yeah i slept good just a little tired just waking up getting it going um it's saying i should be there by 11 40 mountain time which is way earlier than I'm supposed to be. To, I'm like 2.45. But <coughs> with all my deliveries, all my pickups, I've been super early all the time. And everywhere obviously likes it. I mean, some probably will be like... I only had one that was like, oh, you got to wait an hour. But that was about it. But anyways, um, I'm going to get this coffee in me. And I'm going to drive and listen to some podcasts. So let's get cruising. Let's get going. up you guys yeah i've been driving through south nebraska and when the stuff fell in the back it messed up my door handle and i was all annoyed at that i just want to get this load off um because all of my other runs have been good like i still have those ones where yeah i'm tired like this and stuff but i started getting negative feeling and then i started connecting with my higher power looking around looking and i'm like oh it's beautiful i can fix that later um it's not a big deal i mean i just you know repalletize the pallet like nothing so it's like just letting you guys know so yeah if you like it was almost good that i ran out of wi-fi or data whatever so just always stay like mentally positive oh welcome to colorado just entered colorado i only have a couple hours left i haven't had any uh connection for a long time so Perception is stronger than reality. Always stay positive. And as you see in my videos, I do. I've had some people who comment like, yeah, yeah, be real, this and that. It's like, I am real. I don't get too personal on these, but I've been sober coming up on eight years in March. And I do the 12 steps and the principles. So that's where, and I do nightlies and meditation. So like in this field, it's not for everybody, but you have to be really at peace and always keeping your cool and not getting upset because it can make your run terrible but positive feeling good just sitting there looking at the beautiful like I, I i remember when i was in cdl school they said don't think you're gonna get to look at the world but that was so weird to me because even when i was driving truck and driving this i like it more in my personal and having my own business because it's my choice where i'm going what i'm doing but I feel like I see the world. I even pull over, well, owning your own business is different because yeah, I can pull over and as you see in some of mine, I'll like look at the mountains and this and that. But anyways, just thought I'd drop that line and just talk about it, but I'm gonna keep cruising. I'm almost to the delivery, so let's keep rolling. Well, you guys, we're all unloaded. Those guys were cool. Um, one thing that I keep forgetting to buy, I wanna buy some wrap, and I wanna buy um, my own strap, like st strong strap like that. I just I keep forgetting to every time I'm home. Um, just so I'm not like, you know, oh, do you guys got one? You know what I mean? Um, just to be professional. But most no one's ever cared except one guy got weird and he's like i guess the company will use theirs and i was like whoa but anyways that was a blog um anyway so yeah unloaded uh made 11.50 now i'm gonna head towards denver uh so i'm gonna head to denver and what else was i gonna say one thing i was gonna tell people because me and my wife we realized we forgot to say it on um that video where it was uh talking about everything you need when you started but one thing we forgot to say is also uh my father-in-law told me you need chains like when you're going to places like because i went to california my first time going through all these mountains and like you can get in trouble if you don't have chains you can get completely stopped and told you need to get chains so 
that's one thing to know and i at first got some regular some truck chains not knowing you need to be exact and then i had to go to fleet farm and get the exact ones and that was the night before i left on my first run to california but that's another thing to know but anyways thanks for watching seth leroy hustle adventures now i'm heading to denver thank you for watching like i said this is just about inspiring not just for cargo vans sprinter vans it's like just in general going out and doing your own thing like one guy went off saying like you don't do what you want this and that i literally am doing what i want i literally was i, I sometimes i'm at home like five six days i'll go home and do local and regional and i'm just at home and i'm saying that because i saw some other youtubers just real quick that i watched when i was getting into this they said if you start brand new you cannot run what you want to do you cannot be your own boss you cannot like I'm not gonna say his name, but we watched him and we liked a lot of his info, but then he just, and I've heard other ones do it, he just went off that you need to run for a company and I talked to some of those companies and they're like, oh, we're gonna take your van up, you're gonna do this and you're gonna run and when we need the run, we need the run and you're on call. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not buy my own van to have someone tell me what to do. I would do it if push came to shove or I'd probably sell it and just go back to CDL driving. You know, like what would be the difference? It's like. But it, but if that works for you and you like it, and I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, like, that's why I was saying if I had to, I would do it. But this is about inspiring people to just, like, go out and just take the risk. Because, dude, I was freaking out when I turned in my company cell phone to my truck driving job. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, whatever. If you want to, hit the bell notification so you get notified if you want to, if you don't. But anyways, I'm heading to Colorado and you're gonna see what else is new and that'll be the next vlog so everyone keep hustling and have a good day